What a day yesterday. So guys, today I'm going to be going over my top three NBA picks for today. First of all, happy Easter. It's Easter Sunday, uh, March 31st, 2024. It's also my daughter's fourth birthday today. But guys, yesterday, what a dream. We went 14 and zero in VIP. We did not miss a single prop. I'm about to show you guys that. You can tell just from my prize picks balance though. I mean, yesterday's video had 6.2K or something. I'm at 12.2 and that's after today's picks have already been put in. Um, just absolute phenomenal day. I'm gonna definitely withdraw five or 6,000. Um, but guys, if you're not in VIP, the link is in the pinned comment down below. Join the Patreon. It's only $20 a month. Or if you guys are interested, you can just sign up to Prize Picks, Underdog, Sleeper, Chalkboard. Use code TTL. You'll get a deposit match up to $500 on some apps, $100 on others. And you also get a free month of VIP for each one that you do that on. But guys, let me go ahead and pull it up really quick. I made this announcement yesterday. So we had Hunter Green over 6.5 Ks. He cashed it. Canning under five and a half Ks. This was a free pick. We had Maldonado under 0.5 hits runs RBI. That was a free pick as well. And then we had Guerrero under 1.5 bases. I uh, That was not a free pick. We had Yamamoto over four and a half Ks. I'm going to tell you right now, this is the one play that I thought was going to miss because there was a rain delay. He had four Ks in the first three innings and there was a rain delay. And luckily, he did come back out after the ring delay. A lot of times, once the pitcher's rested and stuff, they just won't bring them back out. So, I mean, it was kind of 50-50. It wasn't super long, so I was hoping. And they did bring him out. They cast him. Alvarez under 1.5 bases. Bradford over 3.5 Ks. Underdog, we had Maida over two, and a half, uh, two earned runs. Gilbert under two. Both of those cast. And then Chalkboard. Um, we did use a free square on this. If you didn't want to count that one, we're still 13 and 0 though. But Holiday over three and a half points. Then we had India to get a hit and Diaz to get under one and a half hits. So um, chalkboard is the only one where we're playing like 1.3 x's, things like that. If you didn't want to count those, we're still 11 and 0 on props that are like minus 130 ish, minus 135 ish. That uh, you can play on Prize Picks, Underdog, that kind of stuff. Um, and then on better, we went Soroka under four and a half Ks and Buxton under 0.5 runs. So we ended up going up a total of 37 units yesterday. You can see we hit the six pick and then we hit all our two picks on prize picks. And I just didn't screenshot the underdog ones and all that. But we did cast over there as well, as mentioned. But huge day today. I mean, huge day yesterday. Let's have another huge day today, guys. Um, just absolutely phenomenal. So I definitely wanted to mention that. Again, only $20 a month if you're interested in VIP. So I highly recommend it. And let's get into the picks for today. So our most popular pick, our most favorite pick today is going to be Brady Singer under four and a half pitcher strikeouts versus the Minnesota Twins. So let's head over to DG Fantasy. You can use load code limit for 25% off your first month. And let's take off NBA here. So we're just looking at MLB. And we can see right here, Brady Singer under four and a half pitcher strikeouts is a minus 146 fair odds. Um, Pinnacle has this all the way down at minus 148. And everywhere else you can see minus 140, minus 145. Fliff even has it at minus 165. This will be taken off the board. It will be bumped. And let's take a look at his stats as well. So Brady Singer under four and a half strikeouts right here. In the head-to-head -head matchup, 0 for 2. He got 5 strikeouts and then 10 strikeouts. That's scary. When you first see that, that's scary. You look at his 2023 odds, though. 66% rate of him going under, 19 of 29. This is an at-home game, but even at home, he's 11 of 17 going under. Now, he's only pitched for 7 innings against the Twins. And uh, we can see he goes from a regular... Uh, 7.5 strikeout per nine inning to 17.6. The reason for this, I honestly believe, is just the fact that it's such a low sample size. It's only seven innings um, over the 160 that he pitched last season. Um, his walks and hits per inning go from 1.45 to 1.83. His earned runs per nine go from 5.5 to 11.7. So he allows the Twins to hit. He allows them to earn runs. He just ended up striking them out as well. 
Um, I don't think we're going to have any issue here. He's failed to exceed this in four of his last five. We can see he's in the bottom 22% for Ks, 18.9% strikeout percentage. And I just don't see him um, being able to do this. We can see his K percent even over the last 30 games, his stats, he's at the bottom two, 9.1% um, strikeout rate. So we can see the Twins versus Singer. Some of them strike out a lot. Some of them not at all. Most of them, I know you guys can't see this because my camera actually, but a lot of them, you're getting 12%, 22%, 20%, 0%, 0%, 7.7%. .7%. .7 there's like, there's four total players that have a higher strikeout percentage compared to normal versus Singer. So I'm loving it. Lock it in under four and a half strikeouts. And let's move on to our second pick of the day, which is going to be Gerardo Perdomo. And we're going to take his over 0.5 total bases versus the Rockies. So let's take a look at this. Let's search him up for Domo. Over 0.5 bases right here. And we can see over his last 10, 9 out of 10, which is crazy. In 2024, he's played in three games so far, all three games this year. And he's went over in all three of those. Um, in 2023, he went over in 51% of games. At home, 47%. Doesn't really change anything at home or away. Doesn't really change too much um, for MLB specifically, just because it's more so the pitcher they're against, the kind of pitches they throw, that kind of thing. But we can see he's going to be against Feltner, who doesn't have any uh, who doesn't have any data versus the Diamondbacks. But we can take a look. He's had two total plate appearances versus Feltner, and didn't get anything in those. Um, his average goes from 0.246 to 0.246. So he has the same exact average versus right-handed pitchers as he does left-handed pitchers. Um, and we can actually see Feltner has a little bit less earned runs versus left-handed batters compared to right-handed, but nothing that's going to affect him that much. Um, when we take a look, we can see he didn't strike out. He only struck out once versus Feltner. The other one, he just got a pop out or something like that. He just got out, um, but he didn't strike out. So I do think he can make contact today. And obviously Feltner is gonna, not gonna be in the uh, game the entire game. It's probably gonna be five innings, maybe six. So with that being said, I think Perdomo has a really good chance of getting on base today, especially seeing as he ha how he has been performing this year thus far. And let's lock him in, guys, over 0.5 total bases. And let's move on to our third and final play of the day, which is going to be Lewis. And we're going to take his under 1.5 total bases versus the Pirates. Let's head over to Outlier, and let's take a look. So we can see under 1.5 total bases right here. Over his last 10, he's went under this in 8 out of 10. In 2024, he's played all three games. He went under in all three with 0-0, zero, zero, and then he got on base last game. In the head-to-head -head matchup, he's went under in 6 of 8. And in 2023, he has went under in 54% of the games. At home, 51%. Again, that doesn't change too much, though. Um, no data versus this pitcher, really. Uh, we can see he's failed to exceed this in eight straight games now. Now, this pitcher does tend to give up a lot of runs versus left-handed batters, going from a 5.3 ERA to an 8.16. I don't think it's going to affect us too much today, though. Um, I think Lewis should be just fine. He actually does have a worse K percentage and a worse average versus left-handed pitchers compared to right-handed. So... I'm going to lock it in, guys, under 1.5 total bases. And that's going to be my third and final pick of the day. So these are my three picks of the day, guys. Let's lock them in. Let's go 3-0 and just like we did yesterday. Uh, thank you guys so much for all the support. Again, guys, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below and hit that subscribe button for daily uploads. And happy Easter, guys. Spend some time with your family. Enjoy it. And um, I'll see you guys in the free Discord and in VIP. And as soon as we were about to finish it, it looks like... The singer prop is getting taken down to get bumped. I'm still going to post this guy. Singer will be back up. He's still up on underdog even. So if you wanted to take him on underdog or if you're on a sports book, you can still take his under 4.5 for a little bit worse odds at like minus 140, minus 150. Um, I would still take these two though. Um, either way, guys, feel free to take them however you want. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next video.